of the Yangtze River that stands beyond that impinges on me the most. It's the third greatest river in the world, but it feels far more forceful than the Nile or the Amazon. Flowing from beyond the snowfields in Tibet right through China and down to Shanghai, it irrigates more than a quarter of China's arable land and nurtures one sixth of the Earth's population. <laughs> The vicious character of this conflict has shocked and frustrated the world. But perhaps this situation is as much a microcosm of the greater divide between the West and Arab world. Give me the shield of Santa Cruz, give the rush to the mafia. Geographically, I'm nearer to Delhi, to Kabul, to Tehran, even to Moscow than I am to Beijing. And culturally, so are the people. Just look at the faces, the clothes, the customs. This is China in name only. Culturally, it couldn't be further. You expect us to be somehow special. Different. Uh, you know, you can't really carry the whole burden of World War II. And as you said, throughout 1950, right, you kept that burden. So you already know this. We are yeah, already know who you are now. And you're saying we're normal. We're not we, we, we are grandchildren of, of, of these guys who you know. <laughs> so the fireplace becomes a bridge between my friends and I. I attempt, in my bad Chinese, to explain that in Ireland also, the fireplace was once the centre of the household. You Clearly, it would not have done to suggest that the heroic Arnie could have made so grave an error. If the sisters seem a little too magnanimous, it should be remembered that these recollections are Arnie's. I can't imagine that even two such amiable ladies as my great-grandmother and her sister could have been so gracious as to overlook one half of death, shooting one through the face, even if it was accidental. The language for a long time was considered a linguistic dinosaur and was almost wiped out by German, Greek and Latin. Now it is the greatest source of pride and unity for the Hungarian people, as well as being the greatest barrier to closer relations with their neighbors. The Beijing government has plans for Xinjiang province. Since the 1960s, tens of millions of Han Chinese have been shipped out here from the east of the country to settle the barren desert. Not only has Xinjiang a plentiful supply of land in an overpopulated country, but much of the desert is rich in oil, energy and minerals which could sustain China for decades. <laughs> who fled in fear to the north of the island in 1974. Thomas, the Hungarian UN soldier posted here, told me that though we had driven 45 minutes from Nicosia to get here, in fact, it was only 10 minutes ago. If it is said that every tinker has his horse, then surely every nomad is entitled to his camel. If you were of the type of mind that wanted to divide things, the whole Middle East could be divided into two halves. There's lots of them more grown, and the both of them pale, and the genus three the next is three quarts of flying tools. And then I'm driven in truck from there to this marketplace. Revolution is an odd thing. Its very name suggests glory and heroic deeds, and of course, violence. Although this market is alien to my Western sensibilities, it's also oddly reassuring to know that we haven't completely banished the chaos, and that right now, somewhere in the world, something is happening that I don't understand. Okay. I have. I have. I have. I have.
But that is a story for another day. I'm going down the road. I'm going down the road. I'm going down the road and I don't know where I'm going to. I'm going down the road.